If you spent any time in Tampa at all, you may have heard the tongue-in-cheek adage that there is no life north of Kennedy Boulevard. Well, today we're going to dig in and find out why people hold South Tampa so dear. I am Susie Nelson Crowley. I am the founder of the Tampa Diggs team of Coastal Properties Group International. We are an affiliate of Christie's International Real Estate. And today we're going to talk about why it is people love South Tampa so much. Number one, the Bayshore Boulevard Greenway. At four and a half miles of sidewalk, the Bayshore Boulevard Greenway is the United States' longest continuous sidewalk. It's our version of Central Park. It's where we walk and stroll and bike and see and be seen. The Bayshore, as it's frequently called, is one of the iconic views of Tampa with its beautiful balustrades and the prestigious historic homes and those gorgeous water views. It's frequently the backdrop for celebrities and reporters. We don't like it when Jim Cantatore is here. The Bayshore is definitely one of the jewels in South Tampa's crown. Number two, character. South Tampa is organic. It's grown and developed naturally in connected little villages over time. Each of these villages or neighborhoods has its own name and its own character and texture. Um, names like Gray Gables, Hyde Park, New Suburb Beautiful, Soho, Palmasia, all of these conjure up distinct and unique visions of homes, shops, and restaurants. Number three, the schools. Many people with kiddos flock to South Tampa to take a home in any of the wonderful feeder schools to Henry B. Plant High School. Henry B. Plant is frequently recognized as one of the best schools in Florida. Number four, water. If there is magic on this planet, it's contained in water. That's a quote from Lauren Isley. South Tampa provides many public places where you can enjoy the magic of water. The Hillsborough River flows through downtown Tampa. Garrison, Seddon, and Sparkman channels outline Davis Island and Harbor Island. Hillsborough Bay forms the east side of the South Tampa Peninsula and Old Tampa Bay the west. There are plenty of public places where you can enjoy the magic of water. Uh, whether or not you want to sit and sip, kayak, motorboat, or paddle. Some of my favorite waterfront places are the Sail Pavilion, Ballast Point Pier and Park, the Bayshore Boulevard Greenway, which of course we've spoken about, and the river walk along the Hillsborough River through downtown. Number five is the housing of different types in South Tampa. If you're looking for a grand historic home, we've got those. If you'd like a mid-century modern ranch, we've got those as well. And everything in between, really spiffy waterfront luxury condos, we've got lofts, everything that you're looking for. But just be prepared that due to demand, South Tampa home prices are going to be higher than a number of the other areas. Number six independent restaurants. Um, yes, you can find an Applebee's in South Tampa, and I mean no disrespect to Applebee's, but you're far more likely to find independent restaurants of all different types um, and ethnicities. If there's something particular you're looking for, make sure to leave a message in the comments and I will be happy to respond. Some favorites um, that are held near and dear to South Tampa's uh, heart are Dats, Wright's Gourmet House, Burns, of course, Soho Sushi, Woody's for Greek Salads, Big Ray's Fish Camp, Pane Rustica. If you have a hankering for something specific, be sure to leave a message in the comments and I'll be happy to respond. Number seven, like we have independent restaurants, we have independent shops. If you're looking for a unique battery or light bulb, we've got it. Pirate attire, certainly. You can find an independent hardware store in the same little strip center as a wonderful consignment boutique named Rehab. Don't you just want to go to brunch with your friends and say, oh, I'm going to Rehab this week and see what their reaction is. Toffee to Go is located within the dessert spot. And oh my goodness, that stuff is crack. And for the wine lover, there are many independent wine stores such as Vintage Wine Cellars and Redneck Wine, which are two of my absolute favorites. So many restaurants, so little time. Once the COVID restrictions are lifted, I'm gonna be back. Number eight, proximity to stuff. In today's hectic world, 
convenience is key, and the sheer concentration of amenities in South Tampa makes your daily rounds so much easier. If you need to get to the grocery or specialty grocery or drugstore, the schools, they are all within easy reach in South Tampa. As a matter of fact, there are actually eight Publix grocery stores within South Tampa and directly adjacent to South Tampa. If you work downtown, your commute is a breeze. You can stay off of I-275 and I-4. Tampa's numerous museums and event venues are just a short jaunt away. Emily Arena and Raymond James are as well. Ditch the car. Amenities in South Tampa are easily just a quick Uber away. And for those who are more adventurous, grab a scooter, ride your bike. It's easy to get around in South Tampa. And number nine. Don't you just want to be the envy of your friends when you tell them how Tampa is overrun with pirates? For two months out of the year, we have three Gasparilla parades. There's the Gasparilla Music Festival, the Gasparilla Festival of the Arts, the Gasparilla Half Marathon, all kinds of events that are um, within that two month period that are Gasparilla themed. Uh, why not take an afternoon and spend it with pirates and wenches at one of the parades on a beautiful sunny Tampa day? If you like this video, you might want to check out other videos on my channel. The Best Neighborhoods in Tampa comes to mind. And if you'd like to learn some more about Tampa's texture, check out the videos on the Rialto Theater and Pickford's. I am still Susie Nelson Crowley with Coastal Properties Group International. I can be reached easily at 813-334-6611. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe. Take care, have a great day. Thank you.